Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Around. 0.25 came out before I could make a news video about it, so I'm going to make a news video about it while playing it. First of all, you'll notice on this screen there is a difficulty options button which gives you presets for easy, normal, moderate, hard, and custom. You'll notice there's this button for indestructible facilities. That's one of the new things. We'll get to that later. You can also turn off auto hire crew members before flight if that was something that bothered you. At the KSC, we have a new building called the Administration Building. Once in the Administration Building, you'll see that you can select these various strategies to change how you run your program. Basically what these allow you to do is exchange funds, reputation, and science by having a percentage cost for one of these things, and it yields one of the other things, in this case 5% funds income for one reputation for every 23.706 funds. And there's also a commitment slider, so you can make it take more of your funds to give you more reputation or whatever. You might have noticed that the background noise at the KSC is a bit different. They are currently working on overhauling particles and sounds. You'll see the particle effects in a few minutes when I crash something. You'll also notice some new space plane parts. These are from the Space Planes Plus mod, and they will now become stock features of the game, including this drone core. The Mark I cockpit, cockpit has also had a new style applied to it, and they're working on revamping some other parts. Some parts may be removed in the future, but are in here in this update so that compatibility is not broken for old crafts. I assume such parts will be marked as such. Here's some more space plane parts, such as a bicoupler, this adapter, this other adapter, this fusel- this fuselage, this other fuselage, this other fuselage, this other fuselage, this- this other fuselage. Along with those other fuselages, if you go to the utility tab, you will find that we now have some cargo bay pieces, such as the short one, this long one, there's a crew cabin, and a clampatron. Which, here, let me let me just open that up. There we go. Pretty. Very pretty. And does this have... This has monoprop in it. That is actually a really cool design. You can see the little monoprop containers in the corner there. You can toggle these open and closed. And to make it easier to construct in here, you can turn off surface attach by holding down alt while you're trying to attach something. This is a bad thing to use an example for, but here's a logging port. See, it's trying to go there, and if I hold down alt, now it only wants to attach to the nodes. So you can attach things easier. If you go over to the aerodynamic tab, you'll find the old wings and they're all over the place. And then you'll also find this Mark 1 fuselage intake. Was this already here? Is this a retexture? I think this is a retexture. No wait, no it's not, because here's the nacelle that I thought it was a retexture of, but it's actually a new thing. There's also this structural intake, which is a very low profile intake that looks very nice, and this shock cone intake. After that, you will find there are a ton of new wing parts of different types and elevons, and well, they're called elevons, but they're really just console surface control surfaces, and you can see that with all these new varieties of wing type that we can make all sorts of crazy things including this, which won't fly at all. Beautiful. Time for me to rebuild my strike breaker. There is also in-ship EVA between multiple cockpits on the same vessel. That is, there is a button here that says transfer, and you could transfer them to another part, except, you know, there are no parts, so, you know, I, I can't. I, I can't. Uh, there's also a button now, Z, to go to max throttle, and I have hit that button now. And I need to turn off the brakes, not that it matters much because the thrust on this thing is so high. And there's the new particle effects and sounds. Come on, crash, crash. Oh, okay. I decided, screw it, I'm launching a rocket. Also, uh, another quick note is that you can do the science things in Sandbox now. They just, you know, don't give you anything. But you can do the science even though you're in Sandbox. We're going to try to um, blow up the VAB. As you might have heard, the VAB can now be blown up. So we're going to go blow it up. Whoops, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. Ah, pull up. Well, at least we get to see the pretty particle effects of the new explosions. There's also this now where you can actually go to a ship or recover a ship from this screen if it's near enough to the KSC to be on this map. See, I just got these crew back. Speaking of crew, crew now keep a record of where they've been, and they will cost more if you lose them, and they have been to a lot of places and done a lot of things. Another thing you might not have noticed is the enhanced nav ball. I will attempt to demonstrate it now. Ne never mind. What? Where are my other indicators? There are supposed to be other indicators now. Hey, administration building? Sorry. Oh, I still missed. 
Speaking of, did you know the new KSC is destructible? Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see if any of those hit. And yes, all the buildings in the KSC are completely destructible now. <laughs> that is if you uh, aim them right. There we go. Those should hit. Wait a second. Here, I can just go. There we go. So, for those of you who just like to watch everything burn, you can now. Doesn't matter what it is, you can blow it up. Thanks for watching, as always, see you in space. Please try not to blow up your space center, unless that's kind of your thing. I'm looking at you, Danny.